how to perform a close reduction of an elbow fracture dislocation. Lane radiographs reveal a terrible triad injury in a 30-year-old gentleman who fell off his push bike. Following heavy sedation in the emergency department, the patient was positioned at the end of the bed and his sleeves cut to accommodate for an above elbow back slap. The arm was then lightly cycled in flexion and extension to release any incarcerated fragment with ligamentotaxis. The right hand here is used for longitudinal traction, the left hand for counter traction, and the thumb applying digital pressure over the olecranon, uh, the tip of the olecranon, as the arm is brought into full flexion. The arm is then uh, tested in flexion and extension as well as pronation and supination for any obvious mechanical block. It is important to remember you document your vascular findings pre and post manipulation. Following your reduction maneuver, a high elbow back slab is then applied to temporarily splint the arm uh, in 90 degrees of flexion with position of hand in neutral. It's useful to have all the relevant staff and equipment material readily available prior to performing the procedure. Cast is carefully applied and uh, flexed to 90 degrees uh, as it sets and uh, temporarily supported with a poly sling. Post manipulation x rays are then sought to confirm reduction, and a CT scan can then be used for preoperative planning.